And uh, now we're going to go back to Matt, see what else is coming up on daytime. Thanks very much, Mary. It's Labor Day. We're talking about a labor of love here because I'm with an independent filmmaker, Glenn Baisley. And it really is a labor of love. I mean, you're not raking in the dough here, are you? No, definitely not. Far from. <laughs> now, you're, you're making a film. You uh, live in Putnam Valley. You work out of uh, Pleasantville. Right. And where do you shoot? Do you just look for sites all the time, well, whatever you drive? We, we looked at local stuff, of course. And being native to Putnam Valley, there's a lot of woodland areas, so it makes for great chase scenes in classic horror movies. Um, as far as Pleasantville goes, well, I have my eye on the Rome Film Center for a debut, so we chose a lot of local uh, areas around to Pleasantville. Yeah, the Rome Movie Theater. I mean, I went to that when I was younger. Yeah. They knocked, they closed it down, like made it a real estate office, but right. now it's being refurbished? Yeah, they're refurbishing it. They're looking to open up in uh, sometime early 2001. Okay, well, let's talk about your movie. Mm -hmm. um, what genre does it come from, or doesn't it come from anything in particular? I have to say horror because friends of mine would kill me if I didn't <laughs> play on words, but uh, it's more of a psychological thriller. Uh, it follows uh, an eight-year-old girl's um, traumatic experience where her parents are murdered, the killer flees the scene, 20 some odd years later she believes the killer's coming back for her. Ah, that's a good setup. We have a film clip coming up, so we're going to take a look at that right, right now. Because he'll only go into hiding with like last time. You can't stand by and just let this happen if you really can see what's happening. I think of something. I have to handle this on my own, Karen. It's too Leave dangerous. me alone. It's too dangerous. Why? Why now? Why do you think he's come back after all this time? He is back. Yeah. Axe and all. Oh yeah. You know, it's interesting to point out that the uh, the killer in this were, uh, was played by three different stuntmen: uh, Anthony Eichner, who's the makeup effects person; uh, Mark Yannick, who's one of the PAs; and. Uh, one, uh, Matt Cavalieri, who's a friend of mine, good friend of mine, I suckered into doing this. <laughs> yeah, well, that's funny that you mentioned that because everybody on an independent film really does double duty. That's it. Oh, and there's been lots of double duty for everybody. Um, my wife, and in addition to doing uh, the the home thing and work and, and working on this, is about ready to lose her mind. So thank God she's put up with me all these years. <laughs> now, we, we talk about being a filmmaker. You've, you've stepped over the boundary line for a lot of people. You've gone into digital video. Right. And, you know, we have the camera. Yeah, it's, right it's in a front great of piece of equipment, too. Uh, it's Sony's latest camera. It's a DCR TRV20. Uh, this is their, their accessory boom, but I've used uh, larger boom microphones sure, as well. Sound. Right, and uh, it's a nine hour battery that's on there. Uh, um, you know, the hood attachment, but you can get a full array of accessories and it's, it's easy enough for any uh, budding movie maker to start out a, a pretty uh, inexpensive um, budget. Now, are, are what used to be called film festivals, are they ready to open up to this? Uh, there's more talk of it now. It's, it's starting to become a more widely accepted format and I'm really hoping that they will soon. Thus the Rome Film Center because they have their eye on supporting uh, mini digital video. Okay, so it'll have to eventually be transferred to film to be shown right. on the big screen? Yeah. Uh, uh, that's the thing, depending on the response or whatnot, the next level may be up to 16 millimeter or some higher format. Okay, can I pick this up? Sure. First? Have we got this on right it's now? It's actually running on right now. And, uh, oh, I see I think some we have Mary over, over in the corner there, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Now, it has an amazing amount of effects, too. Yeah, there's a lot of built-in effects, uh, some of which I've used, some of the motion blurring effects, um, and then some of them later on will be added in through Adobe Premiere, uh, all done on a home computer, again, that you can buy. Uh, at a, How much did this cost? cost? These are retail for $16.99. Oh my goodness! Yeah, so I mean, it's it's definitely um, opening up the floodgates for you know budding movie makers now. Uh, and we were talking about you just mentioned the the computer. You're using that as well because you put right. up a website, Light and exactly. Dark, which is uh, .net, which right. is your production company. Exactly. So it, what are you showing people? On well, that? that's that's going to follow from stage one to the final stages of the making of the movie itself. We have some production photos up there now. Uh, more will be up soon, and uh, it's it's been a lot of fun. It really has. Uh, this is great because it takes um, digital snap shots as well, but then I've been scanning in 35 millimeter shots and putting them on there as well. well. Let me ask you, if you had to have, let other people know, they have to go back into a history class or something and they have to watch one or two horror movies, Right. what would you tell them to watch? Who? Oh, Halloween. Okay. Definitely. Um, if you're doing the slasher thing, Friday the 13th, but uh, Halloween I think is probably the godfather of them all. Um, John Carpenter, any of the Clive Barker movies, um, Stephen King of course, but uh, you know, but I, I'd say probably big 
bigger, biggest homage would be to Hitchcock. Okay, there you go. Yeah, definitely, definitely. I was thinking psycho from the moment. Right, and I think you know the the less you see has more of a psychological impact. Yeah, that's uh, that's one of the things in the in the fifties they had to learn how to do right. that, to make it. you terrified without showing it all. Right, right. Len, thanks very much for being oh, with us. Oh, thank you. And when you do premiere at the Rome, please let us know. Certainly. And right now we're going to wrap it up, uh, at least for this segment. We'll be back with more right here on our Labor Day Daytime.